Mrs. Stevenson? Oh, hi, Matt, kids. What are you doing here at the hospital? Are you sick? No. You're here to hear a Bible story? That's great. There's one I've been wanting to tell you about the great physician or the great healer, Jesus. Jesus healed a lot of people in the Bible. During his three-year ministry, there's never a time recorded when, he, when someone asked him to heal them and he said no. Jesus was full of compassion and he always responded to faith. So let's take a look at this story in Mark 2. Jesus had been traveling and he had been going from place to place telling people about uh, the kingdom of God, healing people. And a lot of people had been hearing about him. They'd been hearing about uh, his signs, about um, him multiplying food. Maybe they'd heard about him walking on water, or turning water to wine. And um, they'd certainly heard about him healing people. So always lots of people came when he was teaching. So this day he was teaching in someone's home and the home was packed with people and outside the home was packed with people so that when um, a group of friends came, they couldn't get anywhere near, they couldn't even see Jesus. And so they had brought their friend who was sick, their friend was paralyzed, which means he couldn't move at all. And so they had carried him uh, on his bed, four of them. So when they uh, saw that they couldn't get anywhere near Jesus, what do you think they did? Do you think they gave up and said, I guess we can't ask him? No. They had faith that Jesus could heal them, heal their friend, and um, they really wanted to see their friend's life changed. So they found a way in. Do you guys know how they got in? They climbed up on the roof. And when they got up on the roof with their friend and everything, carrying him because he couldn't move, they broke a hole in the roof. Yeah. And then they lowered their sick friend down through the hole. Do you think maybe Jesus was upset when they interrupted his teaching meeting coming down from the ceiling? No, he was amazed at their faith. He said, wow, these people have such great faith that they went to such great lengths to come to me. So as usual, Jesus was um, really excited about their faith. Um, so the first thing he said was, young man, your sins are forgiven you. Jesus knew that the most impactful thing in his life would be his heart uh, being transformed by Jesus forgiving his sins. Um, so Jesus was excited to do that. Uh, but then Jesus realized um, that some people in the room thought he was lying and just saying that his sins were forgiven because they knew that only God could forgive sins and they didn't believe that Jesus was God. So Jesus said, I know what you're thinking. And then he said, in order for you to believe that I can forgive sins, I am also going to heal him of his sickness so that you can see that I have power over sickness and power to forgive sins. So Jesus looked at the man again and said, get up, pick up your mat and go home. And that's what the man did. He got up, picked up his mat and he went home after not having been able to walk before that. It's pretty amazing. And everybody immediately praised God. They said, wow, we've never seen anything like this before. Um, and that's why these miracles are recorded. If you remember our memory verse from John 20, uh, it said that these miracles are recorded so that people can believe in God and find life through him, believe in Jesus. Um, so everyone saw what Jesus did and um, they realized that he had power to save people from sin as well as sickness. Uh, so let's look at our new uh, by new memory verse in Psalms 130, or sorry, 103, um, verses two and three. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your sicknesses. So our um, big picture question for the next few weeks as we look at the uh, healing miracles of Jesus is, what did Jesus heal people from? And we see that he healed people from sickness and he also healed people from sin and death. So I hope you enjoyed that story. I have to get back to work, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you.